Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this short message, I'd like to share with you some tips on trying to understand the Quran better. Uh, obviously, the Quran is unlike any other book you've probably ever read before. Uh, when you read it, you realize that it's not in chronological order, it's not in subject order, it repeats itself quite a bit. Uh, there are also these unexpected transitions, especially if you're reading in translation. It goes from one subject to another to another, and you, it might leave you wondering what's going on. Not to mention there are ayat, there are verses or statements in the Qur'an that if you don't understand some context behind them, and you just read them at face value, it might leave you pretty confused. So... Keeping all of that in mind, this short message is about two things. I want to, you know, I want to point you to two resources that can help bridge that gap, and it can, in your own studies of the Quran, at least for in the beginning, really help you navigate the text in an easy way and help you understand some of these what seem like abrupt transition transitions. So the first resource I want to point you to is. Uh, a, a person I consider a teacher, even a mentor, uh, in the work that he's done, it's Professor M. A. S. Abdul Halim, and he's written a, a translation of the Quran that's published by Oxford University Press. Uh, it's a brilliant translation. It captures the overall meaning of the ayah, and it's not a word-for-word -word translation, but it's actually still a very good literary work and an easy read. At that, would uh, and if you get a copy, the one that has footnotes in it, it'll really, really help you. So that's the first resource. The second resource is my own project. Uh, it's called Bayina.tv, and if you go to that website and sign up, you can get a gift subscription also. Um, it has a series called Cover to Cover, where I've actually explained the Qur'an in brief from one end to the other. And I don't expect you to go through the entire hundreds of hours of video, you know, overnight or over a month or even over a year. The point of that was you study a little bit of the Qur'an and you need some, you know, somewhat of a, uh, an explanation or maybe a walkthrough of what what's going on in this chapter or what's going on on this page. Well, there's a resource for you that discusses it in easy English. So that's the point of that. So between these two resources, I think you can have a pretty healthy growing relationship with the Qur'an and building a solid understanding. And inshallah, after that grows and you cross certain milestones within these two resources, then there are other more advanced resources that, that'll just open up to you anyway. Thank you so very much for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.